Now we're going to look at uh, Rousseau's most uh, influential work, that is the social contract. As I've already said to you, he begins his, uh, his uh, book with the famous quotation, man is born free, yet we see him everywhere in chains. Those who believe themselves are masters of others cease not to be given greater slaves than the people they govern says Rousseau. When a people is constrained to obey and does obey, it does well, but as soon as it can throw off its yoke and does throw it off, it does better. Isme koi shak nahi, he is saying, that societies that where there are, you know, strong states, strong kings, have no doubt done well. He is not denying that. But what he is saying is, societies where there are people who are truly free, have and will always do better. Freedom is always better than slavery. Even within slavery, there can be some progress of science and the economy and so on. But if a people is truly free, the progress will be that much greater. Slavery, he says, is not natural. Some people think slavery is natural. He doesn't consider it. The earliest and only natural societies are families. If you go back in time, what you see is that People unite together in families without the state, without any external pressure and so on. Families are the first models of political societies. The chief represents the father of the family, the children represent the people. If there are some who are slaves by nature, the reason is that men were made slaves against nature, against their nature. So if you find some people who are happy in their slavery, who say we want to be slaves, we are happy in that, it's only because successively whipping them, breaking them psychologically has made them, uh, has developed within them a slave morality. But by nature they were never slaves. Families are the first, oh, sorry, force made the first slaves and slavery by degrading and corrupting its victims perpetuated their bondage. So the first people were enslaved by force. Uvat se unko jo hai dabaya gaya or generations pe jab unko dabaya gaya aur unke saath zulm aur jabar kiya gaya to ab wo apne conditions se desensitize ho chuke so isliye they might like slavery in this first passage rousseau is trying to prove to you that slavery is neither natural nor good for society he asks does force constitute a right in other words agar aap jabar se kisi ko enslave kar lete hain kya isse ये साबित हो जाता है कि जो आपने अमल किया है वो दुरुस्त है वो राइट है इफ यू एडमिट दैट फोर्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स अ राइट अगर हम ये कहें कि माइट इज राइट द इफेक्ट चेंजेस विद द कॉज जब किसी के पास माइट नहीं रहती और किसी और के पास माइट आ जाती है कुत आ जाती है तो उल्ट सारा रिलेशनशिप उलट जाता है पहले इट वॉज जस्टिफाइड फॉर मी टू इंसलेव यू नाउ इट इज जस्टिफाइड फॉर यू टू इंसलेव मी दिस मेक्स नो सेंस एज रूसो all force which overcomes the first succeeds to its right so in other words what sort of right is it that which perishes with the force that gave it existence if you consider this a right it is my right to enslave you this is a very strange kind of right ke jab aapke paas wo quwwat hai nahi to phir aapke paas right bhi nahi hai jab aapke paas wo quwwat hai to tab aapka right hai so this cannot be a, a right should be something which exists outside of whether or not you have the force to, to, to implement it. Hence, force does not constitute right and obedience is only due to legitimate power. You only owe your obedience to somebody that really has legitimate power. Force is not equal to legitimate power. If force is equal to legitimate power, then the chore that you have to do with the chore, the act is also legitimate. You don't have any right to say that you have to pay me back to me, you have to pay me back to me. मेरे मेरी जायदाद वापस कर दो मेरे साथ जुल्म जबर ना करो जिसके पास कुवत है वो जो मर्जी करे तो ये तो कोई राइट का तस्वर नहीं हो सकता देन रूसो आस्क डज गॉड गिव द राइट टू इन स्लेव क्योंकि यू नो अ लॉट ऑफ स्लेवरी वॉज जस्टिफाइड इन द नेम ऑफ रिलीजन रिलीजियस क्लैरिक्स ऑल्सो सेट के यू नो ये तो खुदा की तरफ से हम क्या कर सकते हैं खुदा ने ही कुछ लोगों को जो है वो आका बनाया और कुछ लोगों को जो है वो गुलाम बनाया आजकल भी हम ये आर्ग्यूमेंट कभी कभार सुनते हैं 
so uh, with respect to force and right Rousseau is saying that force cannot constitute right because might is not right he's saying because um, wo cheez right ho hi nahi sakti that collapses when the force that in that force necessary to enforce it collapses then the right collapses that a conception of right which rests on the arbitrary use of force cannot be in accordance with what we understand <laughs> rights to be which would be something that you should have regardless of whether or not you have the force to enforce them now uh, moving on to religion all power we are told hame ye kaha jata hai ki ji ye khuda ki taraf se khuda ne aise banaya hai khuda ne insano ki qudrat banayi hai all power we are told comes from god i grant it does main kabool karta hu ke khuda ki taraf se hi sab kuch banaya gaya hai but all disease likewise comes from the same hand disease jo hai wo bhi khuda ne banayi hai and yet who ever forbid us to call in a physician ये तो नहीं कहीं किसी ने कहा हुआ कि क्योंकि खुदा की तरफ से डिजीज बनाई हुई है लिहाजा हमें डॉक्टर को नहीं बुलाना चाहिए भैया आपको अगर कोई बीमारी हो जाती है आप डॉक्टर को बुलाते हैं ना इवन दो यू एक्सेप्ट दैट पूरी कायनात में तमाम चीजें खुदा की तरफ से बनाई गई हैं इंक्लूडिंग वो जर्म्स और बैक्टीरिया और वायरसेस जो आपको इस वक्त तबाह आपके जिसम को बर्बाद कर रहे हैं तो फिर भी आप डॉक्टर को तो बुलाते हैं तो इससे क्या साबित हुआ इससे यह साबित हुआ कि इवन इफ सर्टन थिंग्स एवरीथिंग इज क्रिएटेड बाय गॉड दैट इज नॉट अ जस्टिफिकेशन फॉर स्लेवरी बिकॉज बैड थिंग्स आर आल्सो क्रिएटेड बाय गॉड गुड एंड बैड ऑल थिंग्स आर क्रिएटेड बाय गॉड एंड येट वी स्ट्राइव टू अंडू बैड थिंग्स सो वी शुड स्ट्राइव टू अंडू स्लेवरी इन मच द सेम वे कैन अ पीपल गिव अप देर लिबर्टी थ्रू कन्वेंशन कैन यू साइन अ डॉक्यूमेंट विच सेज Uh, can you say, uh, can there be a you know agreement through which you say okay i accept my slavery to renounce our liberty he says is to renounce our quality of man agar aap ye kahen ki mujhe gulami kabool hai iska matlab hai aap ye baat kabool kar rahe hain ki aap insaan hi nahi hain such a renunciation is incompatible with the nature of man aapki qudrat ke ye khilaf hai ki aap apne aap ko kahe ki main insaan hi nahi main to ek auzar hu मैं तो एक चीज हूं मैं तो एक किसी की मलकियत हूं यह आपकी इंसानियत के खिलाफ है यह आप कह रहे हैं कि आप वो हैं जो कि आप नहीं हैं आप अपनी आप को पहचान ही नहीं रहे वी फाइंड ट्रैंक्विलिटी आई लव दिस फ्रेज कहता है यस वी फाइंड ट्रैंक्विलिटी आल्सो इन डंजन्स लोगों को गुलामी की जंजीरों के अंदर जकेड़ दें और उनको किसी दलदल के अंदर फेंक दें किसी तय के अंदर फेंक दें तो ये भी हो सकता है कि वहां पे वो खामोश रहें बट इज दैट इनफ टू मेक दम इंजॉयबल खामोश रोग हो जाते हैं मगर इसका ये मतलब नहीं कि वो अपने हालात को कबूल कर रहे हैं कि उनको वो हालात पसंद हैं हरगिज नहीं डू स्टेट द राइट टू इन स्लेव पीपल बाई कॉन्क्वेस्ट अगर किसी दूसरे के ऊपर आपने हमला किया उनको उ, उनको उन पर इकतदार कायम कर लिया तो क्या आपके पास ये हक है कि आप उनको गुलाम बना लें अपना वॉर इज नॉट ए कंसर्न बिटवीन मैन एंड मैन बट 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 बिटवीन स्टेट एंड स्टेट जब जंग होती है दो रियासतों के दरमियान तो दो फर्दों के दरमियान जंग नहीं है वो दो रियासतों के दरमियान जंग है और इसका सबूत यह है स्टेट केन ओनली हैव अदर स्टेट एंड नॉट मैन फॉर एनिमीज बिकॉज देर कैन बी नो ट्रू रिलेशन बिटवीन थिंग्स ऑफ डिफरेंट नेचर्स रियासत किसी फर्द को अपना दुश्मन नहीं बना सकती किसी और रियासत को अपना दुश्मन जरूर बनाती and in so far as a individual is a representative of the state the state is the enemy of another state but the individual is not aur iska saboot kya hai saboot ye hai for instance the army of one state has a right to kill the defenders of the other while they still have arms in the hand do fauje ek dusre ke sath lad rahi hain jab unke paas bandooke dono side ke paas bandooke hain to ye ladai to hogi aur ladai ho rahi hai aur ladai koi illegitimate nahi main keh raha but As soon as they lay them down and surrender themselves, अगर एक साइड ये कहती है we give up, we surrender, ये लो हम हथियार फेंक रहे हैं white flag, हम नहीं आपको मारना चाहते we surrender. As soon as one of them lays the arms down, they cease to be enemies or the instrument of enemies. They become simply men. They take off their uniform, they take off their badges, and they say, "We are not fighting you anymore." we are now now they have transformed themselves from being representatives of the state to being just individuals and the victors have no longer any right over their lives ab 
ایک فوج کے پاس یہ حق نہیں ہے کہ وہ ان سب کو گولی مار کے قتل کر دے اگر انہوں نے سرینڈر کیا ہے تو ہر بندہ یہ ایکسپٹ کرتا ہے کہ ان کا سرینڈر قبول کرنا چاہیے آپ کو ان کو قتل نہیں کر دینا چاہیے قتل عام نہیں کرنا چاہیے that would be unjust everybody accepts this they surrendered don't fight them don't kill them now they surrendered so why do we accept this we accept this because a state cannot have an individual as an enemy a state only has a state as an enemy and where the individuals were representing a state they were enemies but as soon as they say I've taken my uniform off my badges off I've put my gun down I'm no longer representing that state then they can no longer be enemies. So what is the conclusion that Rousseau wants to come from this? The conclusion is, if war does not give the conqueror the right to massacre the conquered, and we accept this, that war does not give you the right to kill everybody, if you fight a war against India or India fights a war against us, or whatever the case may be, and you win, after you win, do you have the right to go around killing all of them? No, nobody accepts that, correct? Our religion prohibits it. We have a very good example of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, when he conquered Makkah. Did he kill everybody in Makkah for opposing him? No, he didn't. So, uh, and we have many other examples of the same. Salauddin Ayubi and Richard the Lionheart, etc. And if some person did kill people after conquering a city, massacred them, have we considered that act to be legitimate? History is not. Mankind has not judged that act. It's not that that has not happened. It has happened. But the point is that mankind has not judged that act to be legitimate. So, if war does not give the conqueror the right to massacre the conquered, then that right does not exist and cannot serve as the basis for the right to enslave the conquered. War also does not give you the right to conquer the people, to enslave the people against whom you have fought the war. States or states over interests and so on and so forth. But you don't have the right to massacre them and you don't have the right to enslave them. If you do that, you have done something that mankind cannot accept. It goes against nature. Slavery and right, he finally concludes, simply contradict and exclude each other. Where we talk about rights, there can be no slavery. Where we talk about slavery, a slave has no rights. They are, not, they are two things that are poles apart, he says. So where the fundamental problem of modernity, he says, is where shall we find the form of association? Which will defend and protect with the whole common force the person and property of each associate. Har bande ki jaan maal ka bhi karegi. And by which every person, while uniting himself with all, shall be only himself and remain free as before. اور ایسی اسوسیشن جہاں ہر بندہ ریاست کے ساتھ جڑ بھی رہا ہے اور آزاد بھی ہے یہ this is the key question کہ ریاست نے آپ کی جان و مال کا بھی تحفظ کرنا ہے آپ ریاست کے ساتھ جڑ بھی رہے ہیں آپ ہی نے ریاست بنانی ہے اور you are the authors of the state and yet you are also your own person you are free as an individual so the answer he says is the social contract the total alienation of each associate and all his rights to the whole community. Main apne tamam haqooq kis ko de raho? Poore apni community ko. Pakistani apni bhai behno ko de raho. Jo haqooq mere hai, wo main apne haqooq jo apni community ko devolve kar raho, de raho. What does that mean? Each person gives himself to all. Wo apne kabhi movie ya book padhi hai, jis mein three musketeers hote hai. Unka slogan kya hai? کس نے وہ کتاب پڑھی ہے اس three musketeers کس نے فلم دیکھی three musketeers کس کو ویسے پتا ہے three musketeers کوئی ہوتی شاہ ہے شکر ہے تو three musketeers سے actually چار تھے but they started out as three and then they become four in the movie the three musketeers کا جو تھے وہ they had muskets they were french and they had a slogan what was the slogan آپ بتائیں ذرا زور سے بولنا ہے all for one and one for all یعنی کہ تمام لوگ جو ہیں وہ کسی ایک کو بچانے میں اپنا کردار ادا کریں گے اور ایک بندہ جو ہے وہ تمام لوگوں کو بچانے میں جب اپنی جان قربان کرنے کے لئے تیار یہ ہوئی نا دوستی مجھے وہ گانا یاد آگیا دوستی والا کیا اگر نام تو اس کا گانے کا یہ دوستی ہم نہیں بھولیں گے توڑیں گے کیا دم اگر مگر ساتھ نہ چھوڑیں گے so that's what he wants he wants this community to come together each of us 
places in common his person and all his power under the supreme direction of the general will. Ye kya hai ji? General will, as I said before, ye jarnello ki will nahi hai. And as one body, we all receive each member as an indivisible part of the whole. We have to start thinking about this in a different way. We are part of society. We are, the society is the whole. It is the community. It is, uh, and that community is, he says, indivisible. We have to recognize this. It's already there. Hum, agar is zindagi mein reh rahe hain, to hum reh rahe through our social relations. Koi banda wo pani tiyar kar raha hai, jo mein pee raha hoon, koi khana tiyar kar raha hai, koi banda educate kar raha hai, ke pani kaise tiyar karna hai, koi koi kaam kar raha hai, koi kaam kar raha hai. And it is only through our collective effort, our work together, that we have created this society. Jo musicians hain, unka music enjoy karte hain, jo artists hain, unka art hain enjoy karte hain, jo scientists hain, unki wajah se hum apni pedawar behtar karte hain, in theory at least, um, and so on and so forth. So we are, we are all benefiting each other, sometimes we are also hurting each other. Right? If we recognize that we are all, an, that the community is, is, is all of us working together, then we recognize that the associate takes collectively the name of the people. We are, we are the people. And separately, we are citizens. So as a collective, we are a people and individually citizens, as participating in the sovereign authority and of subjects because they are subjected to the laws of the state. And because we accept certain laws, we are subject. So the people is the whole, the citizen is the individual, the subject is all of us um, as we obey a legitimate law, a law that we ourselves create. As soon as this multitude, uh, आम पाकिस्तानियों में आम मिलती है कि हम भीड़ हैं मगर हम कौम नहीं है कभी आपने ये सुना फिक्रा इस्तेमाल होता है हम एक भीड़ हैं मगर हम एक कौम नहीं है अब जो लोग ये फिक्रा इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं उनको शायद ये नहीं पता कि दिस इज क्लासिक रूसो एज सून एज दिस मल्टीट्यूड मल्टीट्यूड क्या हुआ भीड़ एज सून एज दिस मल्टीट्यूड इज यूनाइटेड इन वन बॉडी अब हम उसको कहते हैं कि ये कॉम बन गई है बट ही डजन यूज द वर्ड कॉम फॉर इट यूज यूज द वर्ड पीपल यू कैनॉट ऑफेंड वन ऑफ इट्स मेंबर्स विदाउट अटैकिंग द बॉडी अगर मैं आपका क्या नाम है निमरा को आगे छेड़ू उसका मैं बाल जो टिक करके कर लू तो आप सब ने जो है खड़े होकर कहना निमरा इज पार्ट ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ फ्रांस और पाकिस्तान लम स्टूडेंट हाउ डे यू प्लक दैट हेयर फ्रॉम अर हेड Everybody has to unite to protect Nimra. So, or at least everybody ought to consider an attack on every individual as an attack on all everybody. Much less can you offend the body without incurring the resentment of the members. If I attack you all, then every person has to defend his identity. You have to defend the people. Who so ever refuses to obey the general will shall be compelled to it by the whole body. Who so ever refuses to obey the general will shall be compelled to it by the whole body. और अगर चार लोग हैं वो कहें मुझे तो निमरा पसंद नहीं है मैं नहीं उसको डिफेंड करूंगी तो बाकी सब उसको कहेंगे चंडे चुंडे कराएंगे और कहेंगे कि पसंद हो या ना हो वो पाकिस्तानी है वी हैव टू डिफेंड हर या वो मुसलमान है वी हैव टू डिफेंड या वट एवर द आइडेंटिटी इज द ऑफ द पीपल विच वॉज अ नेशनल आइडेंटिटी फॉर रूसो एज फ्रेंच और वट एवर यू हैव टू डिफेंड दैट सो देन वॉट अबाउट लिबर्टी विच वॉज द गोल ऑफ रूसो What kind of liberty does he propose if we all form this state? Because originally the Russo ne ye kaha tha ki jab hum original state mein the to hum bade azad the. To wo piche saath baitha hai is not in this class, magar wo hai mein shockiya yahan pe aa gaya. Or wo ye sawal uthaya gaya ki sir, why not just go back to that state of nature jo Russo ko itna pasand tha? Ab Russo ye kehta hai ki masla ye saath mein aake we can't go back. Kyunki ab hum wahan se aage aa gaye. वो जैसे ना गीत ये कहाँ आ गए हम यूं ही साथ चलते चलते कुछ हमारे साथ भी ऐसा हुआ है कि हमने अब साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप कर ली हमने अब आर्ट्स को एक हम पॉइंट पे पहुंचा चुके हैं हमने प्राइवेट प्रॉपर्टी डेवलप कर दी है अब वहाँ से हम अब हम वापस वहाँ नहीं जा सकते बिकॉज ऑफ द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन वी वुड हैव टू डिस्ट्रॉय एंड ब्रेक अप सिविलाइजेशन इन ऑर्डर टू गो बैक टू द स्टेट ऑफ नेचर एंड दैट वुड बी सच अ स्मार्ट थिंग वाई शुड बी वॉन्ट टू डिस्ट्रॉय सिविलाइजेशन Yes. 
Well, he didn't want to destroy all civilization, but he certainly wanted to destroy Judeo-Christian civilization as it stood then. But he, he was an admirer of the Greek and Roman civilization. So it's not the case that he was totally anti-civilization. Neither does Rousseau want to destroy all civilization. He thinks it can't be done. I mean, it's not, it's not a goal that, it's not a goal we ought to strive towards. It will just bring death and destruction, nothing else, right? Yes. But sir, isn't it like quite contradictory to the fact that if someone has an opposing view, that he may find to be better than what the general will is saying. So if he says that and the general forces him to change his point of view, isn't that oppression in itself? It may not force him to change his point of view, but it will... It, 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 the minority opinion will not be considered part of the general will. But I'll answer this, I mean, it will, if five people hold one view and everybody else is of the other view, I, we're not saying that the five people should be silenced. But we are saying that uh, the five people's decision cannot be the decision of society as a whole. The decision of society will be the decision of the general will. What is the general will? We will just come to that in a little bit, if you just give me a little bit of time. But let's first understand what kind of liberty does he propose now. He is not proposing that we go back to the state of nature. He does not think that that is possible. Instead, he proposes a new kind of liberty. The original liberty was a natural liberty. The new liberty is what he calls civil liberty. Write that down, please. Civil liberty is different from the liberty in the state of nature or natural liberty. Men loses by the social contract his natural, man, sorry, loses by social contract his natural liberty and an unlimited right to all which tempts him and which he can obtain in return, he acquires civil liberty. So we have lost natural liberty, which we had in the state of nature. Civilization has progressed. We can't go back to natural liberty now because now we have come very far from that natural state and in order to have that natural state we'd have to destroy civilization and go all the way back that obviously is a ridiculous idea so, but within the context of modern civilization we can create a new kind of liberty a liberty based on civilization and that liberty not based on the state of nature what kind of liberty can you have now that we are no longer in the state of nature now that we are in civil society you can have civil liberty and what is that natural liberty knows no bounds civil liberty is limited by the general will so we have to understand what is the general will how does it limit or create our liberty he says in fact it is slavery to be under the impulse of mere appetite and freedom to obey a law which we prescribe for ourselves so agar har waqt aap wohi karte rahe jo aap so that is not to be that is not real freedom you are enslaved to your appetites to control your appetite and say no I will eat chocolate I will eat extra chocolate I will eat it's very difficult for me okay, you know once I gave up sugar uff toba it was very difficult for me for two weeks I didn't eat artificial sugar I have never tried it it is fantastic Okay, uh, if you really want to create this self-discipline and not be under the control of your appetite, try it for this, try some, uh, this experiment. That you have sugar in any cheese. Mein khana. Jis cheese mein artificial sugar hai, wo aapne khani aaj. Hai? How many of you try, will try it out? Raise your hands. Very good. Your health will be way better. The fat on your stomach will evaporate. You will get a six pack if you're a guy. Unlikely that you'll get it if you're a girl. Um, or you can also get it if you're a girl, but you have to work much harder if you're a girl to get a six pack. And um, you'll discover that you won't have mood swings, right? After you have a bar of chocolate, you're like, hey, I'm so happy, the world is so great. And after the sugar runs out, you're like, hmm. <laughs> world is terrible, right? That won't happen to you. You'll have consistent energy. By the way, the worst thing in your diet, let me tell you this, the worst thing in your diet is the artificial sugar you take. It is worse than the makhan and the fat and the boiled eggs and the, anything else that you have is fine. Sugar is the killer, really. It is the reason behind most of the diseases that you get. Uh, but because, you know, the sugar industry makes so much money by selling you chocolates, etc., and soda and soft drinks and so on. Nobody can say you, you can't get that on the mainstream media because they have, you know, their advertising budgets are in 
billions of dollars as a whole. The, the whole, uh, I mean, you wouldn't have Coca-Cola. I guarantee you, you would not have Coca-Cola or any cocoa product if it didn't have so much sugar in it. In fact, Coca-Cola has, I think, about eight teaspoons of sugar in it. Eight teaspoons of sugar. Can you have eight teaspoons of sugar in one go? No, you can't, but you have a Coca-Cola, which is equal, and you don't even realize it. That's how powerful it is. <coughs> All right, so to continue. So in civil society, we will get, we, we are not trying now, we're not going to be anarchists, etc. We need to understand that civilization has been achieved, and now we're going to create laws that accord to it. Property is established by the right of the first occupant, provided the land is yet uninhabited. Um, the party must not occupy more land than is sufficient to supply him with subsistence. And possession occurs of property by labor. We all read this already in John Locke. We know this. However, he says, the right which each individual has over his own property is always subordinate to the right which the community has over all. You may have a right over property, as John Locke said. But society has a right over you and therefore also has a right over your property. Hmm. This means you could have society decide that the property of ABC individuals or the way in which certain individuals are using their property is illegitimate or wrong or bad for society and therefore that property should be taken away. Rousseau is giving you the right is saying that Locke will remember that he said that if you mix the first labor with your labor, then it's your own. And the government is only this work that he has to protect your property. It's over. But Rousseau is saying something different from Locke. He is saying that we have to look after the general will, goodwill of society. We have to make it good for society. And if someone is using his property in such a way, for example, he is making drugs on his property, या उसने सारी प्रॉपर्टी पे कब्जा कर लिया और वो किसी नई कंपनी को स्टार्टअप नहीं होने देना जिसको हम कहते हैं ट्रस्ट बना लिया उसने जिसके खिलाफ एंटी ट्रस्ट लॉज हम बनाते हैं मोनोपोलाइज कर लिए किसी एक फील्ड को जिसकी वजह से उस फील्ड के अंदर कंपटीशन खत्म हो गया तो रूसो इज सेइंग कि सोसाइटी डज हैव द राइट देन टू इनफ्रिंज अपॉन द इंडिविजुअल्स राइट टू प्राइवेट प्रॉपर्टी इन ऑर्डर टू मेक ऑल ऑफ सोसाइटी बेटर दिस कैन आल्सो बी यूज्ड एज एन आर्ग्यूमेंट फॉर सोशलिज्म so, furthermore, Rousseau says, all will be equal before the law in this uh, society of um, civil liberty. Instead of destroying the natural equality of mankind, the fundamental compact, this new civil liberty, substitutes, on the contrary, a moral and legal equality for that physical inequality which nature placed amongst men. And that, let men be ever so unequal in strength or in genius, they are all equalized by convention and legal right. Doesn't matter if you're stronger, physically or weaker, more intelligent or less intelligent. In front of the law, Manal, you are going to all be equal. Okay? Sovereignty is inalienable. You can't give it to somebody else. Sovereignty cannot be represented but by itself. The power may well be transmitted but not the will. Sovereignty always belongs first and foremost to the people. It then gives that so power the power of, the, of sovereignty to its elected representative. The communards of the chiefs can pass for the good, for the general will, as long as the people do not oppose them. It is always the people that give the prime minister or the president the power to legislate. And you can never argue that the people have somehow or the other given it away permanently or anything of that sort. Sovereignty is also indivisible. The right which we take for a part of that sovereignty are all subordinate to it and always supposed ex uh, supreme wills of which they only sanction the execution. So it is indivisible. The whole people have given that right to the committee that they have elected to execute that right. And you can't divide it up and say, aapke ye representatives hain, aapke wo honge, ek riyasat aapki representative hogi. Mukhtalif riyasat hain bana sakte aap ek hi riyasat ke andar. Can the general will make an error? Now you come to your question. General will is what? And can this not be wrong? The first thing is that if you look at the people in the society, the general will is always right and tends to the public advantage. If you debate with the people, then the people will generally want to be good. The people will not want to be good as a whole. 
چند لوگوں کا فائدہ اور باقیوں کا نقصان ہو جائے دا پیپل آر نیور کرپٹیڈ ہی سیز بٹ دے آر آفن ڈسیوڈ لوگ غلط نہیں ہوتے یہ غلط کبھی کبھار ہم کہتے ہیں لو چھوڑیں پاکستان کی عوام تو ہے ہی کرپٹ پاکستان کی عوام کرپٹ نہیں ہے مگر کبھی کبھار غلط فہمیوں کا شکار ضرور ہو جاتی غلط خیالات کا شکار ضرور ہو جاتی اور کوئی بھی عوام ہو سکتی ہے جرمن جرمنی کی پبلک جو ہٹلر کے پیچھے ٹور پڑی اس کے بارے میں بھی ہم یہ نہیں کہیں گے کہ جرمن لوگ ہی خراب ہیں ہم یہ کہیں گے کہ دے ور ڈسیوڈ دے ڈنٹ انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ واز گوئنگ آن اینڈ اونلی دین ڈو دے سیم ٹو ول واٹ از بیڈ یس Right. Right, okay, we're coming to that. That's exactly what we're coming to. So now we have to understand the two different concepts. Ek hai the will of all, or ek hai the general will. Ye dono chize farak hai. Just because everybody votes over here and says, ke hume, mera khayal hai ye thik hai. Does that make it the general will? First karein, sare ye vote karte hai ke, sir, humare mulk mein ahmadi nahi honne chahi. Honne nahi chahi. Jitne hai, unko nikahal de. تو کیا روسو یہ کہے گا کہ یہ جنرل ول ہے پھر لوگوں کی نہیں یا ہم یہ ووٹ کریں کہ سارے جوز کو قتل کر دیں سارے جرمنز یہ ووٹ کریں کہ جوز کو قتل کر دو سب کو تو کیا یہ روسو کہے گا یہ جنرل ول تھی روسو کہے گا نہیں دس از دا ول آف آل بٹ اٹ از ناٹ دا جنرل ول کیا فرق ہے دا لیٹر ریگارڈس اونلی دا کامن انٹرسٹ دا فارما از دا سم آف پرائیویٹ ولس تو جنرل ول میں آپ نے یہ دیکھنا ہے کہ سب کا بھلا کس پالیسی میں ہے سب کا بھلا کس طرح ہو سکتا ہے یہ آپ نے دیکھنا ہے یہ نہیں آپ نے دیکھنا صرف کہ سب کی مرضی کیا ہے سب کی مرضی جو ہے از دا ول آف آل سب کا بھلا جو ہے از دا جنرل ول ریمو فرام دی سیم ولس دا پلس اینڈ مائنس از دیٹ کینسل ایچ ادر اینڈ دین دا جنرل ول ریمین ایز اے سم آف دا ڈفرینس یعنی کہ آپ کے آپسی کے مف... کے... کے اختلافات ہو سکتے ہیں کوئی کہے گا کہ جی بی بیوں کو زیادہ حقوق دیں کوئی کہے گا مردوں کو زیادہ حقوق دیں کوئی کہے گا اقلیتوں کو زیادہ حقوق دیں کوئی کہے گا مزدوروں کو زیادہ دیں کسانوں کو زیادہ دیں وغیرہ وغیرہ سو دیر آر آل دیز انٹرسٹ گروپس لیٹ سے ان سوسائٹی سو وچ ون آف دیز انٹرسٹ گروپس ریپرزینٹس دا جنرل ول یو مے بی آسکی روسوں کا جواب یہ ہے کہ وہ پالیسی جس میں سب کا ہی بھلا ہوگا وہ جنرل ول ہے نہ کہ وہ پالیسی جس میں ایک حصے کا بھلا ہو or to find that policy you have to see you have to minus out ke pluses and minuses ko minus out karna padega ke wo cheezein jiske andar ikhtilaf hai usko chhodte hue wo cheezein jis pe aap ittefaq karte hain wo kya hai and in for how will we get to that saad is thinking while looking at his phone he says the answer is an informed debate will give rise to the general will آپ جب لوگوں کو اکٹھا کریں گے اور ایک ڈیبیٹ کرائیں گے مگر ڈیبیٹ وہ والی نہیں جو ٹی وی پہ چلتی ہے جس کے اندر ایک بندہ جو ہے دوسرے بندے کو ٹماٹر مار رہا ہوتا ہے اور دوسرا بندہ دوسرے بندے کو محاورے محاور محاورے محاوراتی ٹماٹر مار رہا ہوتا ہے یہ نہیں ہمیں چاہیے کہ تو پیڑا تھے میں پیڑا اٹ ہیز ٹو بی این انفارمڈ ڈیبیٹ انفارمیشن لے کر آئیں بتائیں دیکھیں جی میں نے یہ پالیسی بنائی ہے یہ ایجوکیشن پالیسی میں نے بنائی ہے اس کے لیے ہمیں اتنے پیسے چاہیے ہوں گے اس میں سے یہ یہ فوائد ہیں وہ عوام کے سامنے رکھیں اور پھر عوام سے کہیں کہ آپ آپ بتائیں کہ آپ کا کیا خیال ہے کون سی پالیسی درست ہے غلط ہے وغیرہ وغیرہ اور بائی انڈرسٹینڈنگ دا اسپیسیفیسٹیز آف دا پالیسی دیٹ وڈ بی این انفارم ڈیبیٹ ناٹ بائی سینگ یہ بڑا ہینڈسم ہے یہ بڑی گڈ لکنگ ہے اس کو میں ووٹ دوں گا کیونکہ یہ ہینڈسم ہے اس کو میں ووٹ دوں گا کیونکہ گڈ یہ نہیں کوئی کرائٹیریا دیٹ ناٹ این انفارم ڈیبیٹ انفارم ڈیبیٹ از وین یو نو پالیسیز کیا ہیں اچھی ہیں بری ہیں کیسی ہیں دیٹ از وائی نو پارشل سوسائٹی شوڈ بی فارمڈ ان دا اسٹیٹ بائیس نہیں ہو جانا چاہیے پالیسیز کو دیکھنا چاہیے فار ویدر دے گڈ اور بیڈ اینڈ ایوری سٹیجن شوڈ اسپیک از اوپینین انٹائرلی فرام ہم سیلف آپ کھڑے ہوں اور آپ کہیں آپ کا کیا نام ہے سوری زرمین کھڑی اور میں کہ میں بی بیوں کی طرف سے یہ کہنا چاہتی ہوں کہ مرد سارے جو ہیں وہ ایکس وائی زیڈ ہوتے ہیں آپ اپنی طرف سے کہہ دیں آپ کہ میں زرمین ہوں اور میرا یہ نقطہ نظر ہے کہ سب مرد جو ہیں الو کے پٹھے ہیں ٹھیک ہے وہ آپ کا نقطہ نظر ہو سکتا ہے مگر آپ اور لوگوں کے بہاف پہ بات نہ کریں اپنے بہاف پہ بات کریں آئی تھنک ویری گڈ پرنسپل انلیس آف کورس ادر پیپل 
you know have elected you to speak on their behalf or something of that sort explicitly or something of that sort but you have to speak for yourself not for other people in this informed debate my view on this is xyz don't pretend to speak for other people what will be the limits of sovereign power riyasat ki iktidar ke upar hadood kya honge the sovereign cannot impose any burden on the subject unless which is useless to the community aisa koi tax lagana jiska koi fayda nahi hai wo aapko nahi lagana chahiye according to jean jacques rousseau in the same manner as a private will cannot represent the general will the general will changes its nature if its object is private agar general agar riyasat jo hai wo koi aisa kanoon banaye jisme kisi fard ka fayda hai society ka fayda nahi ya kisi section of society ka mehz fayda hai tamam society ka fayda nahi to wo phir ab general will nahi kahi ja sakti wo ab ek private will ban gayi the generality of the will depends less on the number of voters than on the common interests which unite them so ye bhi matter nahi karta ki har bande individual bande ne vote kiya ya nahi kiya matter ye karta hai ki general will wo cheez hai does it unite the people of the country that's the question all authentic acts of the general will will general will oblige or favor all citizens alike general will wo hai jisme har shahri ka ko barabar ka fayda ho sakta hai mumkin hai the sovereign knows no person but the body of the nation and does not make any distinction amongst the individuals who compose it wo ye nahi kehta ki zameen meri favorite hai isliye main usko fayda dunga wo ye kehta hai ki jo banda is criteria ko pura karega उसको ये उसका रिवॉर्ड मिलेगा दैट पर्सन इज सो जस्टिस देर फॉर इज ब्लाइंड इट डज नॉट डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन पीपल फेवरेटिज्म और नेपोटिज्म बाय द कलर ऑफ द स्किन और बाय एनी अदर सच थिंग सो द जनरल विल नाउ इज जस्टिफाइबल ही सेस बिकॉज इट हैज अ सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फॉर इट्स बेसिस आप ही ने बनाई है आपने फैसला किया है कि क्या जनरल विल होगी इट इज एक्विटेबल बिकॉज इट इज कॉमन टू ऑल हर बंदा उसमें बराबर का शरीक और शहरी और उसके बराबर के हकूक होंगे इट इज बेनिफिशियल बिकॉज इट एम्स टू द जनरल गुड उसका मकसद ये है कि सबका फायदा हो सबका भला हो इट इज सॉलिड ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट इज गारंटीड बाय पब्लिक फोर्स बाय द स्टेट रियासत उसको इन्फोर्स कराएगी विद अ सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इन प्लेस द पीपल ओबे ओनली देयर ओन विल टू आस्क हाउ फार यानी कि उनका अपना बनाया हुआ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट है उनका अपना बनाया हुआ कानून है आप अपनी ही बात कबूल कर रहे हैं किसी और की गुलामी में नहीं है आप टू आस्क हाउ फार द रिस्पेक्टिव राइट ऑफ द सॉवरन सिटीजन एक्सटेंड इज टू आस्क हाउ फार द सिटीजन कैन एंगेज विद ईच टूवर्ड्स ऑल एंड ऑल टूवर्ड्स ईच ये सवाल जब हम पूछते हैं कि रियासत का क्या इख्तियार होगा आपके ऊपर ये ऐसा ही है पूछना कि आपका क्या इख्तियार होगा आप अपने ऊपर या एक इंडिविजुअल का क्या इख्तियार होगा सोसाइटी के ऊपर या सोसाइटी का क्या इख्तियार होगा एक इंडिविजुअल के ऊपर या दोनों का मिलकर क्या अख्तियार होगा अपने ऊपर ये वही सवाल है क्यों क्योंकि जब रियासत बनी ही जनरल विल की बुनियाद पे है तो रियासत आपकी है आपने बनाई है यू आर दी ऑथर सो यूर ओनली आस्किंग वट राइट डू यू हैव ओवर योर सेल्फ एंड वट डू वी लूज डू वी लूज एनी थिंग इस इंस्टेड ऑफ लूजिंग सिटीजन ओनली गेन इसमें फायदा ही फायदा है भला ही भला है कोई नुकसान नहीं फ्रॉम अ मोड ऑफ लिविंग अनसेटल्ड and precarious to one better and more secure security milegi from a state of natural independence to one of liberty liberty milegi from possessing the power of injuring others pehle aapke paas ye haq tha ki aap kisi dusre ko nuksan pahuncha sakte the magar ab kya hai to security for themselves ab aapke paas tahaffuz hai and from their strengths which others might by the employment of theirs overcome to a right which social unions union renders invincible और इस तरह जब आप इकट्ठे होंगे तो आपका इतिहाद जो है इस इतिहाद में एक बरकत है विच विल मेक यू एज ए पीपल इन विंसिबल वट अबाउट द राइट ऑफ लाइफ एंड डेथ हाउ कैन इंडिविजुअल्स हैविंग नो राइट टू डिस्पोज ऑफ देयर ओन लाइफ ट्रांसमिट टू द सॉवरन राइट विच दे डू नॉट पोजेस अगर मेरे पास ये हक नहीं कि मैं दूसरे को कत्ल करूँ इन द स्टेट ऑफ नेचर इट्स नॉट द राइट थिंग टू डू देन हाउ डिड आई गिव द सॉवरन द स्टेट द राइट टू पनिश सम वन विद डेथ he asks man may not have the right to suicide but every man has a right to risk his own life for self preservation self preservation ka right to hai na aapke paas aur self preservation ke liye apni jaan ki bazi lagane ka bhi haq hai aapke paas 
That is what gives the sovereign the right to, uh, uh, to, uh, to life over its citizens even in the case of a situation where uh, the law is broken. What about the law? All justice flows from God we accept, but if we knew how to receive it, I love this phrase, but if we knew how to receive it from on high, we should require neither government nor laws. یہ بات حقیقت ہے کہ خدا تعالیٰ تو انصاف چاہتا ہے مگر ہمیں اگر انصاف کی سمجھ بوجھ ہوتی ہے اگر ان کو صحیح سم, سمجھنے کی ہمارے میں ایبلٹی ہوتی تو پھر ہمیں قانون اور ریاست کی ضرورت ہی نہ ہوتی مگر ہمیں قانون اور ریاست کی ضرورت اسی لیے ہے دیٹ وی کین دین انٹرپریٹ اٹ تھنگس اینڈ واٹ جسٹس از کریکٹلی اینڈ انفورس اٹ ان سول آڈر ایوری رائٹ از ڈٹرمن بائی لا دا لا مسٹ آلویز بی جنرل دا ہول پیپل مسٹ ڈٹرمن فار دا ہول پیپل دیٹ از واٹ آئی کال لا all those functions which relate to any individual object pertain not to the legislative power the law must always be general you cannot create a law which says har bande ko ye right hai magar zameen ko ye right nahi hai aisa kabhi kanoon kabhi constitution aapne ye nahi dekha hoga aisa ho hi nahi sakta it has to be for everybody the law is equal for everybody a state like this a state governed by law is what he calls a republic going all the way back to the idea of plato اب آپ سب جو ہے نا یو آر پروبلی اسکریچنگ یور ہیڈ ان یو سینگ سر تھیری میں تو باتیں بڑی اچھی لگ رہی ہیں مگر ریالٹی میں تو ایسے نہیں ہو سکتا سر پاکستان میں اتنے ان پڑھ لوگ ہیں ہے نا آپ یہی سوچ رہی ہیں نا اتنے ان پڑھ لوگ ہیں آپ کی اتنی اچھی اچھی نفیس باتیں جو ہیں وہ کہاں سمجھیں گے مانا کہ آپ کیمرہ پہ ریکارڈ کر رہے ہیں مگر زیادہ تر باتیں تو آپ ایسے بھی انگریزی میں کر رہے ہیں سر اور جو اردو میں کر رہے ہیں وہ بھی سر لوگوں کے سر کے اوپر سے نکل جانی ہے ایسی ہے آپ کچھ کہنا چاہ رہی ہیں صحیح بات اور وہ تو پڑھے لکھے لوگ ہیں جو واٹس ایپ گروپ پہ کہہ رہے تھے پانچ بجے ملے پھر کو کہتا نہیں میں تو پانچ بلکہ پانچ منٹ پہ آؤں گا کیا مذاق ہے یار سو ہاؤ ول دس ہیپن دا پیپل آلویز ول دا گڈ بٹ دی ڈو ناٹ آلویز سی واٹ از گڈ فار دیم وہ بڑی امپورٹنٹ بات ہے ہم چاہتے ہیں کہ اچھا ہو مگر ہمیں پتہ نہیں ہے کہ اچھا کیا ہے آپ چاہتے ہیں کہ آپ ڈپریس نہ ہوں ایسے ہی ہے نا آپ چاہتے ہیں کہ آپ خوش ہوں زندگی میں مگر آپ کو پتہ نہیں ہے خوش ہونے کے لیے کیا کرنا ضروری ہے یا آپ اس کو کرنے کے لیے تیار نہیں جس طرح میں نے آپ کو کہا ہے کہ پانی زیادہ پیا کرو ایکسرسائز کیا کرو اور ٹائم پہ سویا کرو یہ تین چیزیں ہوں گی تو نوے فیصد جو آپ کے ذہن کے اندر نگیٹو تھاٹس ہیں وہ دے ول ایویپوریٹ مگر آپ نے کسی ایک بندے نے میری بات نہیں مانی مانی کسی نے کوئی جلدی سویا رات کو یار یہ بےچارا دو شریف بندے بیٹھے ہوئے تین چلو میرے کہنے پہ آپ جلدی سوئے ہیں یار تھینک یو اس کو یہ دینا ہے ٹھیک ہے اس کا گریڈ ابھی سے طے ہو چکا ہے جی آپ بھی ہیں اس کو بی پلس دے دینا تھوڑا لیٹ آیا سو تو ہم چاہتے ہیں کہ ہمارے ساتھ اچھا ہو مگر ہمیں پتہ نہیں ہے کہ وہ اچھے کو حاصل کرنے کے لیے ہمیں کیا کرنے کی ضرورت ہے دا جنرل ول از آلویز رائٹ بٹ دا ججمنٹ دیٹ گائڈ اٹ از ناٹ آلویز ان لائٹ اس کو گائڈ کرنا پڑتا ہے جنرل ول کو آپ کے اندر ایک ہے آپ کو پتہ ہے یار جو پچھلی حکومت تھی اس میں کچھ ٹھیک نہیں تھا اس کو ٹھیک کرنے کی ضرورت ہے اس میں بڑی کرپشن تھی اس کو ٹھیک کرنے کی ضرورت ہے مگر یہ جو نئی حکومت آئی ہے پتہ نہیں ٹھیک کر رہی ہے نہیں کر رہی کیا ہو رہا ہے اس میں بھی کچھ خرابی ہے پھر مولانا فضل الرحمان چڑھا ہوا ہے اوپر پیچھے سے کہ میں کتیس تاریخ کو پہنچ رہا ہوں اسلام آباد آئی ایکسیپٹ اس گورنمنٹ یو وانٹ سم تھنگ ٹو چینج اینڈ بی بیٹر بٹ یو ڈونٹ آلویز نو ہاؤ ٹو گیٹ دیر یس انڈیویجول سی دا گڈ دے ریجیکٹ دا پبلک ول دا گڈ اٹ ڈز ناٹ سی کیا بات ہے ایک فرد جو ہے اس کو شاید پتا ہو کہ یہ اچھی چیز ہے مگر وہ کہے گا یار یہ ہے تو سوسائٹی کے لیے اچھی مگر میرے لیے تو یہ اچھی ہے میں تو یہ کروں گا تو انڈیویجول کو شاید پتا بھی چل جائے کہ اور پبلک کیا کہ چاہتی ہے پبلک کہتی ہے کہ اس کو پتا نہیں کہ گڈ کیا ہے بٹ اٹ ولز دا گڈ فار دا پبلک آل ہیو آل ہیو ایکولی نیڈ فار گائیڈنس گائیڈنس کی ضرورت ہے لیڈرشپ کی ضرورت ہے سم مسٹ ہیو دیر ولز میڈ کنفرمبل ٹو دیر ریزن اینڈ ادرز مسٹ بی ٹاٹ واٹ اٹ از دیٹ دے ول یعنی کہ کچھ لوگوں کو سمجھانا پڑے گا کہ جو تم چاہ رہے ہو وہ اچھا نہیں ہے اور اچھا یہ ہے اور کچھ لوگوں کو بتانا چاہے بتانا پڑے گا کہ جو اچھائی تم چاہ رہے ہو اس کو حاصل کرنے کا یہ طریقہ ہے یہ دونوں چیزیں کرنی پڑیں گی ہاں کون بتائے یہی تو بہت امپورٹنٹ سوال ہے آتے ہیں اس پہ آتے ہیں فکر نہ کریں فرام دس انکریز آف پبلک نالج وڈ ریزلٹ دا یونین آف ججمنٹ اینڈ ول 
in the social body. From thence is born the necessity of a legislature. So you need leadership. The legislator is a person, a leader, somebody who knows how to make legislation and bring it to the people. What is this? Gods would be required to give laws to mankind. He says, legislation is the highest point of perfection which human talents can attain. Agar aapne pata karna hai ki aap ki sabse skillful cheez kya hai. What is the high, what is the high, what is the profession which is the most important profession, which requires the greatest wisdom and talent. It is not science and I hate to tell you it's not accounting and finance. <laughs> It's not even political economy or economics with politics which you are majoring in. He says it is legislation. To make laws that benefit society as a whole is the most important thing and requires the greatest talent. And it is the greatest aspiration that you as an intellectual can aspire to. He who commands mess men must not preside over the laws. He who presides over the laws must not have command over men. So if you are in charge of somebody and then you are making the law, you are likely to make laws that are not very good because you have a conflict of interest. So it is better that the legislator should be somebody who does not execute the laws, only tells you what is a good law and what is a bad law, makes the laws and somebody else executes it and then you check whether the execution was correct or incorrect. The there is a separation of powers here. It is only the general will that can compel individuals and it can never be known whether private will is conformable to the general will until it has been submitted to the free vote of the people. How do we then establish the general will? You have to submit the debate, this informed discussion to the free will of the people. So what is he saying? To put it in simple words, because obviously these are all small snippets and quotations from his text. What he's saying is, that you need leadership to, to tell people about policies, about uh, laws, about uh, constitutions, what ought to be the case, what not, ought not to be the case, and so on and so forth. This has to be an informed debate. People who are highly informed, they come and tell people in a free open debate, you may have several people who present their points of views, and then the public votes, not on who is the most handsome, who is the most charismatic, who has the most money, but who has the best, in, whose policies represent the general will of the people. That's what you're trying to get at. That's the system of real democracy, is to find out how that works. Now, what would, what would ruin this? What would ruin it is, well, a few more words about the people before I talk about what would ruin it. The wise law giver does not begin by drawing up laws which are good in themselves also. He has to understand the people he is governing. Or rather not governing but making laws for. But consider whether the people they are designed to govern are likely to carry them into effect. He has to see, he has to make laws in accordance with the psychology, temperament and culture of the, and history of the people. Not just this is a good law, pas ban kya. No, it has to also... Keep in mind that people what culture, hai, kya history, hai, kya temperament. Most people are docile in their youth and become stubborn as age advances. Well, that's very true. I am much more stubborn than you are, probably. Once customs are established, it is difficult to change them. The people like, the people like cowardly and stupid patients who tremble at the sight of the physician will not even bear to have their evils examined into, uh, uh, with a view to removing them. So they're like, the people become like patients who like, doctor says, the doctor says, I'm going to go to the doctor. And you go to the doctor and say, let me have a look. No, 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 you don't have to do it. How do I examine it? No, 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 just do it. Examine it. So when the doctor doesn't examine it, how do you do it in the pit? So we also become like that. I am reminded of often, that when I write on the page and on the page, that this is very bad in Pakistan. You need to do it in the law. You need to do it in the law. So what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? लोग मुझे ये कहते हैं, सर वाई यू ऑलवेज नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव बातें किया करें पाकिस्तान के बारे में तो पॉजिटिव इमेज रखा करें पाकिस्तान के बारे में इसका मतलब है कि दे आर वेरी स्केयर्ड ऑफ पाकिस्तानी एग्जामिनिंग आर ओन प्रॉब्लम लाइक यू नो लाइक वेन यू बिकम वेरी अंडर कॉन्फिडेंट और अनश्योर और स्केयर्ड 
then you if somebody points out to you ke yaar uh, aapka kya naam hai manur you are a very nice uh, person and a lovely student but manur ye cheez jo hai na aap theek nahi kar rahe is pe zara nazar saani kare agar aap confident hai na to aap kahenge hmm that's an interesting idea let me think about this and let me see if i can fix it etc etc agar aap under confident hai to kya hoga आप डिफेंसिव हो जाएंगे आप नहीं 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 बिल्कुल ठीक है देखो मैंने वो काम बिल्कुल ठीक है मैंने ये काम बिल्कुल ठीक किया मैंने ये भी काम बिल्कुल ठीक किया मैंने वो भी काम भाई वो काम सारे ठीक किए होंगे मगर ये काम ठीक नहीं हो रहा ठीक है ना इस बात को एक्नॉलेज करने के लिए कॉन्फिडेंस चाहिए हमारी पब्लिक में कभी कभार वो कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं नजर आता जब अगर मैं कह दूँ कि खातन के हालात बड़े ख़राब हैं वो छोड़े आप खातन के हालात की क्यों बात कर रहे हैं देखें हमारे पहाड़ कितने खूबसूरत हैं भाई पहाड़ खूबसूरत है हमारी वादियाँ खूबसूरत हैं हमारे लोग बड़े जेनरस हैं बड़े अच्छे म्यूजिशियंस हम बनाते हैं आर्टिस्ट पोइट्स वगैरह भी पाकिस्तान से डेवलप होते हैं बाकी जो प्रॉब्लम्स हैं उनको भी तो ठीक करना है और उनको ठीक नहीं किया जा सकता जब तक तो उनको एड्रेस ना किया जाए तो ऐसा ही है लोगों के साथ सो so, मगर समटाइम्स इन हिस्ट्री वट हैपन्स इज कि अ वायलेंट ई और अ रेवोल्यूशन कैन कॉज दैम टू फगेट को चंड चुन पड़े ना इनकलाब की या जंग की तो उससे एकदम से बंदा हिल जाता है और कहता आई नीड आंसर्स आई नीड आंसर्स they are rare and do not happen twice there is a period of youthful maturity which is the ideal time to create laws or to create new laws then people become open to change they realize that there's a crisis and they may rethink their views so to sum up jean jacques rousseau he believes that the march of civilization has been very negative we have been torn from our state of nature and we uh, we have been corrupted by private property by greed even by science by even by art and literature and so on but in this march of civilization there is the possibility that we can once again create a society of freedom where the, where every individual works for the betterment of society and society in turn works for the betterment of the individual one for all and all for one that requires us to enter into a process whereby we are able to tease out bring out we have to find we have to discover it's it's obscured it's not so easy to for us to figure it out we have to bring out what do we have to bring out the general will what is the general will it is it is law policy ideas uh, governance that will benefit society as a whole it will not benefit the private will of one over another but will benefit everyone when we discover that general will we come together in a social contract that social contract then gives the power of society to the sovereign in order to enforce the general will to find the general will we need good informed discussion debate we need good legislatures we need good leadership we need people to tease that out when we find that out we vote on it we make that the law of the land and then we follow the law of the land when we will have equality we will have fraternity we will we will have liberty we will have freedom that in a nutshell is jean jacques rousseau